Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to do a very special video. I'm going to be talking about dressing for the weather. This video is kind of going to be like, I'll ask a question and say, okay, what do you wear when it's sunny outside? And I will show you two outfits and then I will then show you the correct outfit. I am going to be making the options quite obvious, um, but hopefully if you're doing this with younger children, this will be a good video to show them if they don't really understand it. A lot of people that are on the spectrum tend to find it very difficult to know what to wear in certain weather. I always underdress in winter, stupidly. I end up wearing not enough layers and end up freezing cold. However, there have been times where in the summer I've overdressed and I've been absolutely boiling hot. I'm just not very good at knowing like what to wear and what not to wear. Every night before I go to bed, I always check the weather and lay out clothes that I think will work. Sometimes it's fine, other times I'm like completely wrong and the weather's changed or it's colder than I thought it was going to be. I don't know, It's I find it difficult to sometimes interpret the weather. So what I think is going to be a warm day might be quite chilly and cold depending on how much wind is around. This is also linked to another part of autism which is that some autistic people can't really tell how cold it actually is or how hot it actually is so they might that might affect the reason why they dress in certain ways but there are lots of people that just can't interpret the weather properly and struggle to dress appropriately. Um, so I thought I'd make a video um, explaining a bit about what you should wear and what you shouldn't wear. Let me know how you get on. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it beneficial please let me know downstairs what you think and if there's any questions that you have then please let me know i have linked lots of things downstairs so there are lots of other resources that you can use at home or at school um, so i hope that those help and please let me know if you have this difficulty as well and what you've done to combat it thank you so much for watching my video please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed and share it around don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to know when I upload next. My Facebook and Twitter are linked below as always and I will see you soon. Bye guys.